Hello everyone, uh, back with another video. I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to bring you guys another video here on the channel. I've been wanting to have a uh, round bale feeder for my sheep. I didn't want to spend about $500 on a used bale feeder. My sheep already eat from a small bale feeder, small square bale feeder, and I just wanted to su supplement them with cheap uh, round bales. So what I've come up with is probably the cheapest, most practical and easiest way you can make a bale feeder um, uh, with very minimal tools and materials. So the first thing I did was cut the um, the IBC toe cage on the corners. I took sections of the corners, uh, four corners out, and I used a pry bar to bend the edges to about 45 degrees. And then the next thing I did was I uh, measured, I believe this is four feet, on either side and then I have 40 inches in on, on the uh, width of the uh, the cage. So I braced it with a rectang rectangular uh, wood frame. Uh, this is three inches by two, three by two. This is a uh, rough cut and because it was cheaper and uh, it's exactly three inches by two inches here. The next thing I did was I put four corner post uh, almost on a diagonal angle I cut about 35 degrees on either sides and I hammered it in. I, I actually over measured it so I can hammer it in and get it nice and tight fit in there. Then what I did was I put a um, triangular corner piece here to sturdy up the, the corners on four corners as you can see. And then the next step was to build a support frame for the bale to sit on. Because the, the, the bale is uh, hundreds of pounds uh, of weight, uh, about six, 700 pounds, I built that middle frame there uh, to support the middle of the bale. And what I did lastly was on either end, I put another piece of two by three, basically braced the corner posts to the center beam. Okay, so the last step was to drill a couple of holes on either of these uh, cage ends and uh, put a screw to, to hold the, the cage to the, to the piece of wood that it's resting on. It's very simple. With the cost of the cage, that the whole thing is probably gonna cost you about a uh, hundred bucks. Yeah, I was trying to be careful a little bit when I dropped it into the feeder. I didn't know if it was gonna tilt over or not, but worked out well. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is I did cut a few other um, pieces from the cage so that uh, the sheep can slide their heads through and and uh, get to the hay a little bit easier. I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, before I actually framed it up with the with the two by three. Um, they were they were eating from from the cage fine uh, didn't seem to have any problems getting to the hay um, but i've put this uh these uh side braces and the middle um uh vertical oh, sorry horizontal one there and so i don't know how that's going to restrict their access hopefully not that's why i cut a little bit more and see see what happens if they're going to be able to get to there my guess is they're going to be all right. Um, I Right now, they do have that good stuff over there. I'm going to let that stuff finish and see how that goes and see if they can go at it. And I'll give you guys another video, another update to, to see how everything worked out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, please. Talk to you guys soon. God bless.